and I think about many different situations as to your survival. Your survival, basically, for real, your survival is dependent upon that. And um, you got to know that. You got to know that your survival is, is, is you know, is, is dependent upon you, the necessity of you being who you need to be. So, um, just thinking about it, man, you know, in many different situations when it, when it regards to, to you achieving success uh, or victory, you know, and a lot of people don't really have that mentality to understand that, you know, there's a lot of competing going on, you know, um, consciously and unconsciously, you know, subconsciously, let me say. But yeah, so you got to. You got to be who you got to be. And that goes, and I, I think about certain situations where people try to achieve certain success and everybody has a different definition of what they deem to be success. I think about like with Kobe, right? For instance, with Kobe, um, how he approached the game of basketball and how he wanted success, like how he, how he wanted success. You know, he he always wanted to be, um, you know, he wanted to achieve a status greater than Mike. So, I mean, he he had to be somebody that, you know, probably everybody didn't agree with. That's a, you know, like or and, and typically that's what it always boils down to. What society or what you, what these social groups say you should be and what you shouldn't be. But if you think about it, man, you know, you got to be who you need to be in order to win, in order to achieve what you need to achieve. I mean, he had that, Kobe had to run Shaq out of there. You know, that was an ugly situation, you know, because he had something to prove. He heard the whispers, you know, he heard the whispers. Kobe chose not to be friends with other NBA players. You know, he cho he chose to try to do it his way, you know, so that he can be isolated, so that his talent can be isolated and put under a microscope by itself, not with people and not with help, you know, that's just how it is, like, so what he did, you know, he had to do what he had to do, and it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't pretty, but look, look how he's regarded, though, you know what I'm saying, so you think about that, like, with Kobe, and the route he had to go, and the route he took to be revered as, and held at such high esteem, right, and greatness, right, then you look at LeBron's route, LeBron did what he had to do to get where he needed to get at, but he's never ever really regarded right there because, um, and I'm just using this as an analogy as the saying, but he he achieved his success the way he had to do it. So if he had to go out and be friends with everybody, you know, friends with everybody in the league so he can, you know, team up, you know, that's a basketball conversation, but that's his route that he took because he had to be who he had to be. He had to be more who he was like he had to maybe he was more of a friendly guy and uh or whatever the case may be but i i don't want to be all all over the place but i'm just i hope that you're getting the point is that sometime you have a natural inclination as to who you really are right so some people you might it might be hard for you to be that version of yourself but you got to put on that hat you got to be who you need to be in order to be successful, in order to, you know, to have victory, to whatever you got to do, because whatever the opposition is up against you, you must understand it. Now, make that clear. Understand what you are up against. And that right there should be enough motivation for you to understand, for you to be who you need to be. And that, and it ain't always, it doesn't always align with who you, who you innately are, right? It doesn't always align with that. So it's something for you to think about. Be who you need to be in and, and be it, you know? Um, yeah, I just wanted to add on that, though. So, like, this is kind of like a like a somewhat of a part two. But you need to be who you need to be, like, seriously. Be a leader, number one. That's for sure. Be a leader, right? All day. But, yeah, no doubt. It ain't always pretty. It ain't always what everybody envision, you know. But you got it's necessary for you to, you know, Put your put your hard hat on sometime, you know what I mean? And go to work, you know, whatever you got to do, you know, it just, it ain't always who you want to be or who you always envisioned to be, you know, initially, it changes along the way. Life, uh, life allows you to change in the way, and but you need to understand that your survival is dependent upon it, being who you need to be. 
So I hope I was clear. Um, those are just that's just some scenarios as to, like I say, achieving greatness. Um, you know, you know, in a in a in a warlike manner. Even so, even like like I say, in a competition type manner, like be who you need to be. Like even with that, you you have to succeed. So, and if you want victory, you know, you know, you know that you can't be uh, you know how you gotta be. It's just you need you'll figure it out. Let me say that you'll figure it out. Okay, I guess that's enough. Oh yeah, be a leader too.